It's a Friday night event. Qualifying began on Wednesday. Now we have 26 cars ready to go for 50 laps. Being paced around by the Toyota Super Silica pace car as the field gathers in behind. The pole position goes to a California driver, car number 77, Eddie Worth from Hermosa Beach. Alongside is the five-time World of Outlaw champion from Bloomington, Indiana, Steve Kinzer. The second row is Bobby Jones and Wayne Bennett. The third row is Mike Sweeney and Jim Laurie the fourth. In the fourth row, Dean Thompson and Leland McSpadden. Thompson, one of two men in the race tonight that has won this three times. In row number five, Brad Knopfsinger and Dave Bradway Jr. The sixth row is Rip Williams and Bob Mealy. In row number seven, Jimmy Oski from Downey, California and Roger Newell from Torrance. Row number eight, John Redican from Sepulveda and Chuck Gurney from Livermore. The ninth row is Sheldon Kinzer from Bloomington, Indiana, and Brent Kading from Campbell, California. Row number 10 from Memphis, Tennessee is Rick Unger. And car number five, Bob East from Lawndale. In row number 11, 4N is Jack Hoddenschild from Millersburg, Ohio. Alongside him is Brad Doty in car 75A from Wooster, Ohio. In the 12th row, car 21X from Mesa, Arizona, Ron Schumann, the other man that has won this three times, but he'll have his work cut out for him to come from the back of the pack. Alongside is 391, Daryl Swinert from Phoenix, Arizona. The back row, car number 23 from Upland, California, Walt Kennedy. And alongside car number 98A, Jack Hewitt from Troy, Ohio. 13 rows of two, 26 cars. It's set for 50 laps, and there is $10,000 to the winner. Ready to start as they come up into turn number three. It's up to Eddie Worth and Steve Kinzer as they come out of turn number four to bring them down to the green. They do, and we are ready to go for the Pacific Coast Sprint Car Nationals. Steve Kinzer right around the outside, the early leader to very few people's surprise. Kinzer, five-time World of Outlaw champion, adapts quickly to any racetrack. Eddie Worth is not going to give ground. Eddie Worth takes the lead away from Kinzer. Eddie Worth takes the lead away from Steve Kinzer on the beginning of lap number two. Kinzer is back to second position now. 50 laps, a long, hard race to go. Coming out of turn number four down the front straightaway, Wayne Bennett is running in third spot, and Bubby Jones is fourth. Mike Sweeney is up to fifth spot, followed by Jim Laurie the fourth. The early leader is Eddie Worth in car number 77. Out of turn four down the front straightaway with Kinzer in second spot. Still followed by Bennett, Jones, and Sweeney. Jim Laurie, the fourth, and Leland McSpadden. Car in trouble down in the turn. Hangs on to it. We've got him coming together. We bounce a car into the fence as cars got together in the turn, and it looks like car number 37 of Rip Williams. Looking for a start as Eddie Worth will bring him out of turn number four. The green is out. We are back to racing speed. Eddie Worth down the front straightaway. Kinzer in second spot. Third is Bubby Jones, followed by Mike Sweeney. In fifth spot is Jim Laurie the fourth. He's followed by Leland McSpadden. Dean Thompson bumps into another car on the back straightaway. There was contact made with Dave Bradway Jr. Thompson keeps going, but Bradway's in trouble. Bradway is limping around the back of the race course. If he can get the car safely off, he will. Otherwise, a yellow will come out, and it looks like it will, as Bradway is unable to get his car off the racetrack. Meanwhile, the car is ready to go now as they are are set up for turn four. Out they come as Eddie Worth picks up the pace. Eddie Worth down the front straightaway, followed by Steve Kinzer into turn number one. Bubby Jones is third. Mike Sweeney is fourth. In fifth is Jim Laurie the fourth, followed by Leland McSpadden. And then comes Thompson. Worth showing the way up front. Continues to be the leader of this event and tries to get away from the charge. Look at the charge down there. Bubby Jones is after Kinzer. Jones is in the second spot as he passed Steve Kinzer on the outside in turn number two. McSpadden's charging. 
Eddie Worth, the leader, in second spot is Bubby Jones. Steve Kinzer is third. McSpadden is trying for fourth. McSpadden runs with Sweeney. McSpadden moves into fourth spot, dropping Sweeney back to fifth. Thompson is in sixth. And we park a car. The leader is out of the race. Eddie Worth has parked his car against the fence up in turn three and four on the outside of the racetrack. Something wrong, and Worth, the early leader, has stalled on the track, and Bubby Jones will inherit the lead. Into turn number one. Thompson again to the low side of the track. McFadden holds the ground. The leader continues to be Bubby Jones. Jones is coming out of turn number four. He's got a clear racetrack in front of him. Look at Thompson. Thompson makes the move on McFadden. Thompson came out of turn number four, got in front of McFadden to move into fourth spot. Kinzer in second. Here comes Thompson. He's going after Sweeney now up into turn number three. Thompson underneath Sweeney. The cars tap in turn number three as Thompson taps Sweeney and Sweeney holds on to his spot. Sweeney in the Kasparov Super K car holding on to his third spot. Down into turn number one. Thompson unable so far to get by Mike Sweeney. Thompson makes another run at him up in turn number three, looking at the low side of the racetrack. It's the slower way around. It's shorter, but it's slower, as you can keep the speed up in the car if you go around the outside racing through. And that's exactly what Sweeney is doing. Back to the leader. It continues to be Bubby Jones in car number one. He comes down this time to put away lap number 35. 15 laps left to go for $10,000. Now's when it gets tough. All these laps on a race car, they've got 35 hard laps on them. Have to pace themselves and the car. At this kind of speed, they can blister a tire and then not be able to hold traction on the course. The laps begin to unwind now. We are in lap number 36. The close race continues between Mike Sweeney and Dean Thompson. Sweeney has been running third most of this event with Thompson playing the chaser. Look at Thompson. He's making a tighter move this time in turns number three and four. Thompson and on the inside moves on Sweeney and Sweeney continues to hold his line. Sweeney not going to give an inch as Dean Thompson pushes. Now they're into traffic. Who will find the line? through the slower car. Sweeney catches up to the back of another car, goes around on the outside, finds some running room, and Thompson's right behind him as they pass John Redekan. Now they're catching up with Rick Unger, and Sweeney makes it to the outside. Is there room? Yes, he makes room. And Sweeney gets two cars between himself and Thompson, but Thompson stays on the gas and gets by them both and stays right on the back bumper of Mike Sweeney. A battle for third and fourth is the hottest battle on the racetrack right now as Mike Sweeney is holding off the charge of Dean Thompson. The leader is still Bubby Jones in car number one. He's just clicked off lap number 40. He's got 10 left to go. Watch the smoothness of this driver as he continues to go around the track, saving the car, saving the tires. He's now getting up near Darrell Swinert in turns number three and four. Close to the inside. Comes down out of four, down the front straightaway, looking for a way around the car in front of him, looking at the inside now as they come out of turn two. Now he makes his move. Thompson has made his pass. Thompson, while we were watching the leader, finally got around Mike Sweeney. Thompson now going faster, trying to move up. He wants to try to catch up with Kinzer. Thompson is now third. Sweeney is back to fourth. Thompson, lap after lap, finally found a way around Sweeney as they were working traffic. And now Sweeney becomes the chaser. They're up at the north end of the racetrack as Thompson comes out of turn number four. And Thompson has about a full straightaway to catch up before he's going to be on the back bumper of Steve Kinzer, who's running in second spot. Here's Thompson on the back straightaway. He's headed for turn number three. 
Kitzer is out of turn four. Thompson trying to get some more ground and move up. This will be lap number 45 being completed. Five more laps to go when the leader crosses the start finish line. Bobby Jones will cross the start finish line now, and there are five laps left to go. Second place is still Steve Kinder in car number 11, World of Outlaw champion five times, including this year. In third spot is Dean Thompson, the man who has won this race three times, and he's also three-time California Racing Association champion. He's running third. In fourth spot is the man he's been battling with, car number six, Mike Sweeney. 46 laps have been completed, four left to go, as we are down to the last few laps. Thompson getting by slower cars now as he holds his ground. The leader is down the front straightaway into turn number one. Bubby Jones sets up for one. That's Kinzer now, the second place car. He's over into turn two, following Jones. Jones will catch up with some more traffic this time. Kinzer right behind him. Down the front straightaway will come the leader. 48 laps are down, two left to go. Here comes Thompson out of turn number four. Thompson still in third position, and he's unable so far to get anywhere close enough to Steve Kinzer to overhaul him. The race is up front. Kinzer is closing in on Bubby Jones. Jones is coming out of four. He gets the white flag, and Kinzer is the car right behind him. Jones into turn number one, over to two. Kinzer's right on his tail. Thompson is back in third. The leader is up in turn number three, and Kinzer's catching him. Kinzer is moving in on Jones. Jones comes down for the checkered flag, and Jones wins it with Kinzer right on his back bumper. But Bobby Jones held off the charge of Kinzer, who made his last second run at the leader and got right on his back bumper. He had no place else to go as they had caught up with Walt Kennedy, and there was no other line left on the racetrack, and Kinzer had to follow Jones. They're side by side down the front straightaway as Kinzer salutes Bubby Jones for winning the 18th running of the Pacific Coast Sprint Car Nationals at Ascot. The winner, Bubby Jones, in second spot will be Kinzer as Jones pulls up into the victory circle area and everybody gathers around his car to give him congratulations. Bubby Jones has never won this event before. Well, the crowd is still gathered on the front straightaway, and let's go down now and talk to the winner. Here's Tom Malone. The car is number one. The man is number one. It's Bubby Jones. Congratulations. Thank you. $10,000 richer tonight. We can handle her. Boy, I know you can handle her, but you sure handled it out here tonight, too. Yeah, this car was working just fabulous. You yeah. had tough competition all night, too. 50 hard-fought laps. Yeah. We enjoyed every damn minute of it, too. <laughs> you got a great crew behind you. Got a great crew chief here. It's all in here together. Makes you number one man right down the line. Yeah, every time the boss comes, we win. I guess we got to show off for him. <laughs> That's Bubby Jones here, ladies and gentlemen. He is number one. He's one of the great drivers, one of the great sprint car drivers, okay? Well, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of J.C. Agat, Janine's Ascot, Ted Otto, and the rest, it's Tom Lone saying so long. See you next week. Here we go. Agajanian Enterprises and CRA bring back another thunder and lightning spectacular to Ascot tonight. It's the annual Craco Hat Night and a Bubby Jones Dean Thompson rematch. Wearing his first Pacific Coast Nationals crown, Jones now attempts to put the 1984 Craco CRA season title away. A free Craco hat for everyone. Craco cordless phone prizes too. Sprint car thrills tonight at regular family prices. Time trials at 7, racing at 8. Ascot in Gardena, where the harbor, San Diego, and 91 freeways lead.